what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video it's a beautiful day out here we were at the ranch and my mower still has a hole in it yeah i'm hoping it's covered under warranty because i didn't i don't hit anything in fact i thought i hit something but when i went back down the trail i'm like there's literally nothing i could hit i think a blade came loose and spun up hit that when it hit that it exploded that and so i'm hoping it's under warranty john deere is like 50 50 with me so we'll just kind of have to see if they make me cover the cost of it and i didn't hit anything then that says a lot it says a lot about them but anyways we're at the ranch beautiful day out here it's a little warm but i am wearing some fire merch zach you're wearing the same one really give good. us a, give us a spin there Shoo! your guys favorite design the arrow flag design is now available in the hoodie for fall and we made it olive so you can hunt in it if you guys want a bunch of other hats a bunch of other t-shirts and hoodies whole bunch of buck stuff is going to be linked down below if you guys want to check it out as you guys know we're having problems with the monetization of youtube with the hunting stuff and the best way to support your boy and the deer videos to come which today that's kind of what this is about is to go cop some bucks merch so it'll be linked down below if you guys are getting geared up for deer season you like shooting big bucks or if it's brown it's down listen we got the gear for you today Today, I got a new bow. I'll give you guys a little backstory here. So, the reason why I haven't really done a whole lot of bow videos in the past is because in 2000 and... I want to say 2017, maybe? Has it been that long? I bet it's been that long. 2017, maybe 18, but I bet 17. 2017, I go to Shields and I buy a bow. Brand new, super expensive, you know, got the top of the line, whatever. I take it out and I shoot it and I felt fine, cool, whatever. So then I take it to my buddy's house, who's like, you know, big deer guy. So he like helps me get sighted in, whatever. And I shoot it a whole bunch. So I wake up the next morning, I'm like, my shoulder's getting it, son, which is kind of normal. I feel like if you're not used to using those muscles, it kind of hurts. I'm like, you know, whatever. Don't be a weenie. Just take a chill pill. Maybe start doing some stretches or some curls or something. And I was like, you know, whatever. And so then the next day I wake up and it's worse. I'm like, son of a gun, this son, I can't hardly move my arm. You know, it's getting worse. And what's weird is it's my right shoulder, which is the shoulder that holds the bow straight, not the one that pulls it back. So I also thought that was weird. I'm like, okay, whatever. Two, three, four days go by and literally each day it gets worse and worse to where I remember going duck hunting one of the days and I could not physically could not pick up my shotgun couldn't do it it hurt so bad i'm like man you wouldn't think it would get worse you would think it would get better it got so bad i had to go to the doctor went to like a i don't know some type of specialist there where they take x-rays and basically tell you what's wrong with you um and i was like yo doc what's what's the strat here my shoulder's freaking getting it i shot a bow but i just didn't think it would be that big of a deal and he's like let me take some x-rays so he took some x-rays and I, I always have to look up what this is called i think i know what it's called but basically i got a fat chunk of bone missing in my shoulder bow shoulder something i was born with nothing that i did or anyone did it just came out the womb with a messed up shoulder and it is called hang on hypo something show let's see it is called hypoglinoid dysplasia hypoglin yeah hyper something display basically hole in the shoulder no bueno and the doc's like don't ever use a bow ever again you that because it causes pro basically where i should have bone is just muscle tissue and when i'm like rotating my shoulders the bone grinds against the tissue and inflames it and he said you can get surgery but he's like there's no guarantees and it's expensive and you know the recovery time's long and whatever so since then for four years i ain't picked up another bow i've done bow fishing but that's just because it's pretty light you're not shooting a ton you know most of the time it's okay and my shoulders kind of hurt after that but not terribly four years went by i'm like you know i, I i'm done i'm basically a crossbow hunting guy big crossbow guy now right and even my doctor's like hey i can give you like a disability card because like there's some states that i hunt in that you can't use a crossbow unless you have a disability form and i was like no i'm not gonna mess with that it's it's no big deal i'll hunt the states that you can use a crossbow in and i'll just run around with the pew and not worry about the bow you know it, well, life sucks it just is what it is there's nothing new about it so four years go by talking to my buddy anthony so anthony works with a bunch of different brands but one of the brands is elite archery and that's what this is here and i anthony i've worked together for a long time on different products through ducks and googan and whatnot him and i have a great relationship he's like hey dude could you use a bow this fall i see you've got the ranch you're doing all these hunting deer videos and whatnot and i explained to him hey i can he's like listen i've got a bow that i think would work we're going to turn down the poundage to 50, right? Because when I had my shoulder problems, I was ripping, you know, probably 70, like the normal pound for a deer hunter. He's like, I'll turn it down to 50. And he's like, the drawback in the release on our bows is less than maybe some people other out there. I don't, I don't study bow brands or nothing like that. I'm sure other bow brands are great, but he just said, he's got the bow for me. And he's like, I'll send it to you. I'll give you everything you need. Go get it fitted, take it out there. And if your shoulders hurt, so be it. But I want to help you get out there and shoot a deer with a bow. And so he stepped up. So I want to give a huge shout out to Anthony and Elite Archery. Awesome dudes. I've got, they're not paying me to say this or nothing, but they basically were like, we see the problem you have. We think we have a solution. Even if what we give you doesn't work, you know, don't even send the bow back. Like just, you, you've got a free bow. Here you go. But if it works, great. So I got to give you guys a shout out for that. Knock on wood. 
I have got, I got this thing sighted in. I went to Shields and they got me all, I um, got my little thingy and you did, you know, you got it. I'm a big ball guy. And so my shoulders felt fine. The next day they felt fine. And I probably shot not a lot, but I probably shot eight to 10 times. I mean, my shoulders got a little bit of something, but not bad. Not to where like, if it's the next day and my shoulders feel fine, then I'm here. I'll deal with a little bit of pain in order to shoot big Bambi, you know what I'm saying? So today's plan is to get that, oh sheesh, look at you. You got this thing freaking rigged up and ready. And I got it in like an olive color. I think that's, this thing just looks bad. That's pretty hoodie. That's, oh sheesh, we're twinning right now, buddy. We are gonna be shooting that, but the other thing we gotta do is when I was gone, so I'm not, right now, I'm on like, I'm, I feel like I'm on probation. I cannot leave the house for very long because our trials do any moment, basically. So I'm not able to get out and we had some doctor's appointments that I had to be at and whatnot. And so both Chris's, so there's two guys named Chris that work here on the ranch and get some stuff done. They hung up some more tree stands. So some one of the videos you saw on my channel was hanging up tree stands and we were in a super big hurry. They got one more up. This one, we still need to hang at some point, unless Zach and I feel really ambitious i doubt we'll do it today they hung up a double on the i don't know we're, we're gonna call it the clover plot even though i didn't plant the clover one of the chris's did it the neighbor chris he planted the clover for us. so they've been stepping up since we've got baby beefcake on the way they've been stepping up and getting all the deer chores so that way when i can sneak out for a few hours i'm at least sitting in a tree shooting and not tinkering around with little stuff but today we're tinkering we're not hunting today we are going to go check out the stands they hung up make sure that we're you know good with everything we understand the shooting lanes and whatnot and then we're going to also hang some mock scrapes so we'll walk you guys through that process not an expert there but i think i understand how it works and that's supposed to kind of attract deer set some trail cameras up and just kind of start getting eyes in the right areas now that we've got stands hung up we know exactly where we need to be the food plots are already growing you guys saw that we got it all fertilized and whatnot so today's plan go find the tree stands climb in them make sure we're good to go hang up some mock scrapes hang up trail cameras and then break in the new bow we got to get this thing ready to rock and roll we've got a full deer target we've got a coyote target and we've got this guy right here so we could set them at different distances we've got a range finder we're just going to kind of prep for archery and i know it's a little late and i know some of you guys are like bro you're supposed to be practicing since the spring all summer long if you're going to go shoot deer listen junior i get it but if i start practicing now every day in my backyard every morning i'm sitting my coffee and i'm hitting the target then i'm climbing the tree and shooting a deer Okay, that's the plan. So we're gonna get everything loaded up. We're gonna head out and find the new stands, walk you guys through them, and then start hanging mock scrapes and getting all the cameras set up. So you guys stay tuned. All right, we made it to the first spot, and well, our food plot, I don't know what happened, but it looks like death. It looks like Death Valley. It's just like mostly weeds now. I don't know what happened. Both Chris's, they came out and they fertilized it. They used the tractor and a wagon. So they, obviously they drove over it, but I didn't think it would kill the whole plot. So we'll have to check the other plot too. But this is the one we hung. You saw us hang it in this video, but they came out and tidied it up, I guess, or made it more secure, I think. Yeah, because isn't there a cross? Yeah, it's all... It's all, it's all rigged up and ready. Oh, God, yeah. Dude, this is going to be money so you've got this trail over here so again if you guys didn't see the first video there's a good trail right here we didn't make this trail you can see that that's deer walking and they walk right up and there's our well food plot it used to be a food plot i don't know what it is now maybe it'll grow back we still might need to clear shooting lanes over there but anyways the deer trails over there and so now we've got a stand and then on the back side's clear and then on the front side is clear so i'm gonna climb up there and try not to die i'm gonna try to take you guys with me here hopefully this is more sturdy than it was last time because last time it wasn't that sturdy Oh, this is rock solid, buddy. Dude, this is rock solid, bro. I mean, I'm climbing up here with one hand. Before, it was the flimsiest freaking thing you ever did climb. Okay, I'm a little scared now that I'm up high. I mean, I'm not, like, scared of heights, but I don't like falling. I don't know about you guys. That doesn't sound like something that's fun. Whew. All right, hang on. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy, he's dead. He's for sure dead. You're getting there. Don't you worry. Shoo, buddy. She gone. Ew, So, arrow 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 they're walking under me arrow they're eating out of the food plot arrow 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 oh god yeah i still don't know about two beef cakes i mean you're just putting a lot of faith Bro, i'm gonna take hella naps in this thing better strap up though is this thing to rest your gun on i'm guessing or just to catch you from falling out but dude look at that so it's like oh there's deer right there you just kind of stand up so it looks like this thing flips out okay got it stand up real slow zach's a 10 pointer Bam! She gone. Sheesh. But this is probably my favorite spot. This is good. I like this spot a lot. We just got to make sure our food plot comes back. Because right now it just looks like a freaking field of weeds. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the tractor smashed it down and ruined it or the fertilizer was actually round up or well, I don't know exactly what happened to be honest. But if you saw the video where we hung this in, we did plant some rye, oats, and peas. And so that should come up. We just need some rain. We get a little bit of rain, it'll start sprouting. We should be fine. But this is spot number one. We're not going to shoot from this one yet because I think the other stand, we're going to check the other food plot to see if the other food plot looks like a bag of wieners or if this one just something happened to this guy. Maybe the deer came out 
munched every head of the turnip. Was that a cow? Was that a was that a cow? I feel like we're pretty far from my neighbor's cows, but maybe they got one on the loose. Maybe we'll shoot that with a bow from here. Just, I'm just kidding. Cats couldn't cook, though. It would be fire on a cow. Spot number one, you can see our tower blind there. And we've actually got another tower blind there. So, we're, I mean, we're banking on this spot. We've got three blinds, or two blinds, and then a, a ladder stand. And the other tower blind can look into that pasture, which that's just natural, not food. It looks like they cut that tree. I'd probably cut some of these trees down. And maybe they wanted it that way, but I would probably make that hole maybe a little hair bigger. These limbs right here, we have a pole saw. We need to cut a bigger hole so you can see a little bit further. I mean, great. You don't want the deer to see you in the really far away it's just when they basically once they're in range then you want to see them and you don't want them to see you until then so i kind of understand that strap but i would maybe cut out just a couple more but overall it looks good the boys cut some good shooting lanes and got some good spots to throw some arrows shoot some arrows sling some arrows down range like i said we've got the tower up there for rifle or bow and then we've got another tower straight over there that's the one that broke we still have to flip up on its end and we'll have to wait for more beefcake reinforcement so stand number one looks great i'm happy about it i mean these are comfortable bro like i'm seeing just by myself the dull double strat i mean i could maybe like finn or something could hang out with me and we could just chill up here this is comfortable i will for sure fall asleep i mean i've never really had a reason to ladder stand hunt or, or tree stand because i can't shoot a bow for four years like i was told not shoot a bow for four years so i never really got into it focused on muzzle loader focused on rifle the idea of me sitting up here at six in the morning the sun's coming up the birds are chirping then you hear crunch 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 and you look over and it's big sheila oh god yeah that's gonna get me fired up i've got a feeling i just know my personality the second i shoot a decent deer with a just a normal compound bow. I think I'm gonna be a changed man. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go full blown deer crack addict. At this point, I like hunting. This is so much more like, I don't know if intimate's the right word. I think that might not be, but it, you feel one with nature. When, when you're sitting in a tree, at tree level, you feel one with nature. You don't, you're not in a heated blind. Again, don't get me wrong. I love a good heated blind. I don't know. For some reason, I'm, I'm vibing up here though. I could come up here and read a book and take a nap and just be happy with life. This is great. So anyways, ladder stand number one. This is it on the main food plot here. Let's check the other food plot. We do have a ladder stand over on that one, but we're, we kind of contemplated we might move it. We set it up there last second. It was a single man. We might go look for some trees today. We may not move it today but we'll look for some trees maybe to move it to it was kind of close to the trail we could we could set up a trail camera on that trail though if we want to see if they're moving on the trail i mean it'd probably make sense to scout your trails prior to putting up stands on your trails to see what's coming through there so i would say we should go throw a camera over there so we'll run up to the other food plot throw a camera show you the other stand you know let us know what you think if we should move it or not and then we'll head to the new double man ladder stand that the chris guys put it together and set up on the clover plot i haven't seen it yet they told me that they got that done for us so we can come out here and again get one step closer because it, right now like right now if i'm sitting up here and i do have my bow today i could technically shoot a deer it is in fact deer season so i know we're late to the game but i was not planning on archery hunting until i was talking to anthony over at elite archery and he's like i got you brother we can make something happen i want to see you shoot a deer so enough talking see you guys in the next plot whoa hold your horse his partner zach just reminded me hey dumb we forgot to hang a mock scrape over here. And he's right. So you said you found a rub though. Let's go check out this rubby dubby. We got to do it in a shooting lane. So I would say here, this this back one, right? And you said you saw a fresh rubby. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if my eyes can spot it. Oh, you'll see it. Oh, hey, how you doing, rubby? Look at that guy. That's fresh as she gets there, pal. Oh, dude, there's still sap coming from yeah, it. Fun. So look at that. There's your shooting. So well, we should get a rangefinder. How far is that? Killable, I imagine, right? Oh, yeah. I would think so. Right here would be good because then they're sitting there doing their thing and right through the vitals. So you think hanging it from something over here? We don't necessarily have to hang, hang anything. Oh, really? Like, this is your... That's that's their whacking stick yeah. branch. We can like clear the underbrush out. Okay. You up. literally just dig it out and just see what happens. Yeah, just expose and then, the dirt. I say, then we'll just, and then we'll just put a camera maybe like... We can cut off some limbs off one of those yeah. cedars. And, or, I mean, I've got the stick posts. Yeah, I mean, you can put it right here and get yeah. both. Yeah, I can get both. Okay, let's do that. So we'll show you guys. Yeah, look at that trail. So we're not going to even hang it. Like sometimes you hang vines and stuff. Since there's already dangle sticks for them to rub their... Push all that out of the way. Just get it out. Okay. And, and then, then rake it out. Yep. Okay, well, let's get to work. All right, here we go, boys. Mock scraping. So we got a rake. I think right here. Yeah. about that. I like it. And maybe toss this guy. Think that's fine? Yeah, I like it. So if I'm a deer, isn't that what they do? Mm -hmm. That's it. You're telling me deer are gonna say, hey. Buddy's gonna come check out his rub and say, wait, who put that there? True. He's Yeah, he's already marked his territory. Let's see, let's take a camera. Let's put a camera over here. Tucked back and hidden. You ever hear people peeing on that? Oh yeah. You supposed to do that? I got. I'm working up with pee right now. If you want me to do that, 
what's the strat here, buddy? I'm not sure what I got going on here. Oh, I see. That's tight. You don't want this sucker flailing in the wind. I feel like that's probably pretty good. I think I need to pull it back a little bit. Maybe just here. If we can just yeah. get it passing it. This thing's not very wide. Like, it's not a very wide camera. So, if I can just do that like that. Let's check that out. Maybe just a hair down. Okay, I think that's it, boys. Should I pee on this sucker or what? Yeah, I'll eat. You guys probably shouldn't see that. Talk about demonetization. They'd probably kick me out. Well, I'll see you guys in the next plot. We made it. Food plot, well, it's back here a little ways. We went past it. It looks better than the other one. I mean, you can see back there, we got our tower blind and our food plot. I'm guessing maybe it's just because we had rain. We hadn't had rain for a while. To that or the tractor driving over with the fertilizer didn't do it any good. But maybe if we get rain plus fertilizer, it'll, it'll revive it. We're not sure. So this was the not positive, pretty close to the trail ladder stand. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're if you're up there and the deer comes up on this trail and then looks up and sees you, I mean, shoot it. I mean, there's not really much else to it. But this is a nice trail. You can see there's a couple skinny deer marks that go all the way through. So this is gonna be an easy one to do something where we will make an actual mock scrape with a, people usually use vines. It's not gonna really have vines, but I mean like any of these, any, yeah, I say, oh yeah, that's, that's a pretty straight one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to hang it. Yeah, here's their trail. You see where they're walking right here. Hang it from this, probably one of these straights right in here. Right in here. Basically, you hang a stick. For some reason, deer like hitting their orbital gland, which is like right in this joint. They like rubbing up against it and they mark their territory. And then I've seen like does will come in and pee on that. And so then they're sniffing and scraping. And it's a whole like deer territorial strat. We're going to make it so that way, if we do stay up in that tree, or maybe we go to that tree, or we go to that tree, or we go to that tree, we just need to figure out where the bucks are. Where are the big bucks? So we're making these hopefully to attract them. Oh God, yeah. Just wedge it. You might be able just to wedge it. Like use the fork to hang it up there as long as it stays. I think that'll do it. Bruh, I think it might stay, no? That might make life easy there. Oh no, you lost your V. That's okay. We got paracord. But yeah, that's the idea. So dangle stick, you know, kind of right at eye. I think, what do they say? They say belly button height, right? Not what the kids say? Or is it nipple high? I can't remember. Belly button or nipple? I don't know. You want the deer doing this. So you're definitely going to say nipple. Deer, their heads aren't down here. Something like that. Because you want the deer to walk up and kind of make them kind of work for it a little bit. They're like doing one of these things. A little higher. Yeah, maybe just a hair higher, like, yeah, something like that. So we'll get it tied up so it don't fall yeah. down. We don't need to shank any deer, you know. And then same thing, we'll uh, scrape out a little pocket here. So if we do, we can, again, if we don't want it there and that's too close, we can bump it back to that tree right there. Like, no problem. It's going to take some cutting and stuff like that, but it's totally doable. 100% you can put it on one of those trees back there. So that way you're off it a little bit. That one might just be a hair close. Yeah, so good. we'll get this thing hung up and ready to go. I'll show you what the final product looks like. Stay tuned. All right, <laughs> the scrape has been mocked. So we've got trail camera here. She's pointed to the weast here. You know, kind of far away from the scrape, but I still think it'll catch. Uh, yeah, I went ahead and dumped her out there, buddy. We hung this branch, paracord. See, it's just doing one of them things. But the idea is it comes over, smells the stick. One, as soon as one wipes its little gland on it, then we're good. I put, we put that like here, not nipple and not belly button, right in the middle. We're just hoping that's the best. Got the scrape. So this is the trail that goes down to Narnia. Actually, where we're going is the, I don't know if you can see all that. See those real dark trees on the distance? And then you see those real light trees right below them. And then you see those real dead trees right below them. That's where we're going. But we got to go around the whole other way. So technically our clover plot in some way, shape or form has a trail that gets down to it through the ravine you know the pond the pond's like on the back side of this hill we're kind of trying to connect them all but this was a good trail we don't know what's on it we haven't seen a single deer i've never seen a deer up here in my life and i've seen a lot of deer on the property never seen one here but since we hung a stand there we might leave it we might move it i'm not gonna worry about moving it until we start seeing deer here and then at that point i might just hunt in it or sit on the ground in a ghillie suit and shoot them as they come around the corner i don't know i i don't i don't really know we're gonna see we're trying to get some cameras out some mock scrapes out. i know we're late to the game folks i get it most of you guys are like flay i've been putting mock scrapes out since may you're behind Listen, buddy, we got a lot going on. We're doing our best. Okay, we're all new to this deer game. We're trying to make the best of it. So, mock scrape number two, check next to this guy. The next one we're going to is going to be the new double at the clover plot, and that's when we're going to break in the new bow. That's the one I'm pretty positive we're going to keep the location. I don't think we're going to move it. The other ones were kind of like, who knows? I mean, it should be a little bit more open. The only pictures I've seen of deer lately, a big bucks, I don't say big bucks, but decent bucks, are at night on the clover plot. That has yet to be clover. It's not clover yet, but it will be eventually. So, the next bow we're going to do is going to be the last stand we have up. We'll climb in it, make sure we're good to go, and then we'll start 
start setting out some 3D targets. We've got deer, coyotes, and a block, and set them out. What do you think, like, what distance? Would you like 20, 20, 40, 60? You don't really want to shoot past 60, right? And that, that kind of, yeah. That's, I mean, 60 is a poke. Especially at 50 pounds. Yeah, you probably don't yeah. want to do that. So that's a rainbow. So well within 50, like 40 is what you yeah, probably want to be 40, in. yeah. 15, 25, 35. Yeah. Start there and then maybe give me some 50 yards. No, we, we can let her fly. I'll, 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 start, I'll start rainbowing her down there. I ain't afraid. Robin Hood. I ain't afraid. Well, we'll see you guys the next spot. Shoo! We made it. Uh, there's no clover growing yet, but we just did it. And, well, this is where it's at. Look at that sucker. So our tower blind's sitting right up down yonder. This is the clover plot. Lots of thatch. I'm not sure if the clover will grow great in here or not, but where's our other camera? Oh, our camera's still out there. We should just poach that camera and take it because there's no reason to send that one. But that's where the stand is. And look, we already got somewhat of a mock scrape looking area. It isn't a mock scrape yet. It looks like it might've got disturbed yeah. right there. But all you gotta do is you ever one of them guys? It's the same height as the other one. I would say that's it. What about, you ever seen someone do the double strat like that? Is that a one-two punch or no? And that would work. Look at that. Especially if they come from this side. They want, they're going to be scraping and doing whatever. And I'm going to climb up in this sucker before we get too crazy. Oh yeah, there's that's a deer print right there. There's already something walking over here. It looks like they fertilized this area too, which is good. I just don't know if any of the clover will take. There's just so much thatch. I mean, look at how much thatch you're bringing in. I mean, it's rocky, so we couldn't actually till it and disc this. Like, that was kind of the other problem with this plot. This is more like, again, this might just turn into a tra turn it back natural and do travel corridor. Because, like, you can almost shoot across this whole thing. It'd be pretty yeah. close. It looks like it might be a trail that's coming out. Oh, over there? They shoot down. Yeah, they definitely could be traveling this. And like I so said, we've got another one over there, and that one you can shoot bow from too. You can shoot a bow from it as well. So if it's cold or something, we can go in there. If it's warm, we can go over there. So coming from the north, we stay on this side, south the other side. So Zach's getting the mock daddy scrapey going. Yeah, there's a lot of thatch. That's. I'm not sure we're gonna get much crop to grow on this ground. We need to burn it. That's what we really need a good burn. This thing would torch. This is all completely dead. We sprayed this thing so many freaking times. We do really need to burn it off. But Chris said that he spread some clover seeds. Clover's not hard to grow. It's kind of like just like a grassish thing. It shouldn't take a whole lot. It's not like growing crops, but there you go. This one's easy. Let me climb in this sucker, make sure I don't fall out. And then I gotta shoot on the ground first, get it dialed, and then I'll yeah. climb up there. I think we're gonna be all right. Oh God, he's dead for sure. She gone. I like the spot. You can't see a ton. You're not gonna see him coming, but they won't see you as they're coming. I think the spot's good. Let's go ahead and wrap up the mock scrape. Let's get to shooting. Shoo! All right, we got the range set up with the bows there, ready to go. Yeah, let me walk this off here so we figure out what we're doing. We left the range finder in the truck, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 14. 15, 16, close enough. 15 ish. Here, one, two, three, eight, nine, 10, 11, close enough. Coyote, that should be 25 yards. And then, one, two, three, eight, nine, 10, 11. We've got big Bambi, big boy, sitting right in here. So that's what we're aiming for. That's 35 yards. Oh, we could easily shoot across this sucker then. For some reason, yardage to me, I'm just not, I don't have great perception of that. I would be like, you to me, 50, easy. And it's only 35. Basically, if you see one this way, she's going down. So she's not sighted in. I got it on paper when I was at Shields getting ready, but I didn't mess with the pins. So we're gonna put the pins at, I guess the only thing you gotta factor in is elevation, huh? Cause you're already gonna be 20 feet in the air, plus where you're standing, you're like pushing 10 yards already. Before we get up in there, we need a range finder, which it don't matter as long as once the day we hunt, we climb in there and I know where I need to set my pins. I feel like 15 yards is pretty normal to set your first pin, no? Do you think people do 20? 15 or 20. So I think 15 is probably safer. 15, 25, 35. I mean, there are more pins than three, so we could always do 45, 55, not anticipating to shoot at that. But at least it's there if you're trying to rainbow one out there, you know? So, you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? I guess. I made this whole video, my shoulders are just gonna give out. Would not surprise me. All right, hopefully I can hit at least the target. All right, I'm gonna release. He's right here. So you don't know what pin is what yet? Nah. I mean, I think I was using the top pin, which would have been like 15 yard shot. I don't remember him saying how far it was. I mean, their range was definitely further than this. So normally they get all your pins straight for you. Nah, no, they just said, you'll be all right, you got it. No, we didn't sight it in at all. Like we just made sure I was on paper and left. I think that's gonna be a problem here. Potentially. I'll just put my first pin on it and you tell me if I hit it or not. All right. Is there an arrow in there? Yeah, there's an arrow. Let me grab one first. Okay. Big daddy tip. All right, boys, here we go. White goes up, I would assume, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not how you do that. Wait, what happened here? Why does that thing come up? How do you get that thing? Oh, there we go. That look right to you? Yeah. Feeling good about it? Where, where <laughs> do I need to go, the stick? You don't shoot the side by side. You want me to shoot that? Huh? Don't make fun of my form, okay? I feel like professionals like do that. No? The biggest thing is doing it all together. Yeah, I'm probably gonna blow my shoulders out, <laughs> but that's all right, we got it. What do you think about that? 
Yeah. I got my anchor point. Yeah, they taught me that. Okay, sir. All right. Wow. I was just aiming for the target. Honestly, I didn't really look too hard. That's about center, though. I feel like I can kill deer with that if I could just get her dialed in a little bit. Let's throw another one in. Let's go next pin down and shoot for that coyote. You think so? You trying to lose arrows? <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention. Like, I was just hoping I would hit the target. So let me do one more. I'm going to aim to the circle to the right of my arrow. So it'll be the same height. So I know I'm, I won't mess up the height. Low. So it's shooting like six inches low from my first pen. Because I aimed for the one above that. What do I do here? I've never... I always have someone do it for me. Bro! Yeah. What the... Oh, I'm screwed then, huh? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Really? How do you set your pins? Do I need to call a professional? There's like Allen wrenches and all kinds of loosening and... Oh, yeah. Are you serious right now? I'm serious. I've never done it by myself. I thought you had it ready, like ready to roll. I was here sighted in. <laughs> they told me, yeah, you got it. Because I shot three arrows and hit within like a quarter... So I mean, I was right yeah. on, but it wasn't where I was aiming. Yeah. Shoot another one where you just aimed. Yeah, Go for the same, same spot? Just to make sure it's low and it wasn't just off. Well, I thought, we, I thought you knew how... You how to adjust this. Oh, no. Great. Perfect. <laughs> we'll be here for a while. It's dead on. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's hard to see the target right now because the shadows. I'll show you where I've been aiming. The first time I aimed for the middle, which is right where I hit. Second time I aimed here. I mean, it really wasn't that far off, actually, now that I look at it. So this is the third one, and I aimed for that target. I need to get it out in the sun, though. I'm guessing at this point. Does that say look any better? I just need to get it in the sun. We got this. We, we don't need professionals. We got it. This is beefcake deer hunting LLC, buddy. We don't take professional help from nobody. I mean, so far it's shooting decent. My shoulder don't hurt, so I feel like that's a win in my book. Let's set it in the sun so I can see. You like that? Yeah. I'm just going to walk off 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's walk off 15. That's 15 steps. We got this. We're deer hunting tonight. Didn't I tell you that? We're going to go sit in that sand and kill. Oh, really? Yeah, big and yeah. Close. Let me throw one more. I could see it way better, I'll be honest. That was better. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. What do you think? Did that kill a deer or what? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not taking my time. I really like, I'm just kind of slinging them. So I mean, I was shooting here. So I mean, it's naturally it's it's hitting a little low, which would mean it would be sighted in for less, correct? Yeah. Let's say it's sighted in for 10 yards. Yeah. It should hit low. You really don't know how to adjust these pins, what you're telling me, huh? No, seriously. <laughs> They're so, just so finicky, like... Really? Yeah. And it's not like a rifle where you know, like, you're steady and it's like... Oh, it's not steady at all. Yeah, I'm sitting like, there. It's, half of it's on you and half of it's on the bow. Should I try shooting the coyote and see what happens? I would, yeah. Okay. If I had to guess, they set them up to where... I mean, right. I wouldn't say they didn't sight it in for me. I'm not trying to, like, talk crap. But, like, it definitely wasn't like, a, okay, we're going to adjust your one pin, two pin, three. Like, yeah. he basically was like, you're hitting the same spot every time, you'll be fine. You just yeah. need to, He's like, you just need to adjust your pins when you get home. So he told me. So he must think I'm smarter than I am. They gave me way too much credit at that store. Oh, hey, how you doing? That's not it. I like the setup, though. I mean, I don't really know any different, but... Do people do this? They just sit on the ground and are just like, deer? I think you should try it this year. Like ghillie suit? Yeah. Dude, I feel like super one with nature if I'm like this. Like, I'm just sitting here, quiet, kind of a primitive way to kill something, you know, like... How far do you think I am from that deer right now? Or should I try to shoot the coyote first? Probably shoot the coyote first, huh? Let's walk it off. Well, we can go back to the stick. Which is 25. 25 to the coyote. We don't need this then, right? No. Yeah. All right, so we'll go back to the six, so 25. So aren't the pins supposed to be... That's what he means by set them up. Like, you can pick your own increments. Yeah. Like five yards. Because right now, they're evenly distributed. At what increment, though? 10 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards, 40 How like, many pins are there? One, two, three, four, five. I bet that's 10-yard increments. I would almost think it's five. Five-yard increments? Potentially. I mean, I can call the guy who set this up for me. I have a cell phone. I'm like, yo, what's the shot here, buddy? He might be able to help me. So we're rainbowing out this coyote. Dude, imagine coyote hunting with a bow, though. If I get used to this, my shoulders don't get blown out. I might turn in just to the next ultimate bow hunting guy. I'll probably suck at it, but I'll try. Okay, hang on. So what pin am I using then? Second one. Second? Yeah. Go for it. That's a dead coyote dude <laughs> yo yo he's dead bro he's so dead okay i'm like low-key impressed with that one it was a heart shot oh my god look the smallest circle they have he's gone brother this might be the new thing buddy we might be on to something should we try the deer now oh yeah all right, I'm gonna leave the arrow in him. I can't believe I just harsh shot the kite. That's pure luck. There's no way that's skip. That is pure luck. You guys are witnessing maybe the 15th time I've ever pulled a bow back ever, and just got the heart shot on a coyote. Now, 25 yards isn't that hard, but I still feel like that's like somewhat impressive. That heart is the size of like a I don't know, like a little lime or something, something kind of small. All right, let's see if we can shoot this deer now. So this is 30. I mean, that would be a pretty decent shot. 35 yards, pretty yeah. good, right? Yeah. What's a bow shot where you're like? 
I'm saying? Without being like, yo, you're being reckless. 50, 60. That's impressive. That's impressive. I mean, that's double. Like almost it, double 50, that. 50, 60 is killable. Really? But like, it's super impressive. If... Plus, only at, at 50 pounds draw strength, you probably lose a, lot of, you lose a lot of velocity. I think 40 would be my max, I would guess. Yeah. Let me, you guys tell me what you think. 50 pound draw weight. What's the furthest shot I should take? <sighs> I feel like I got the pressure now because I just did so good on that last one. I'm about to just shank it right in the eye or something. You know how you get the shakes? Yeah. How do you do that with a bow? I get the shakes and I've got an AR and I'm like, there's no way, dude. My arm's gonna be just pool noodles. It's gonna be a bad deal. All right, here we go. It's kinda hard to see the target, to be honest with you, but. Yeah. Smoked him. He's gone. He's gone. Bro, he's dead. We should hunt tonight, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm just kidding. I'm freaking ready. I'm dialed, buddy. Oh my gosh, is it a hard shot? It's gotta be close. No, no. Shut. It's a hard shot, bro. Look at the heart. Okay, something. I'm in the zone right now, buddy. I just heart shot a coyote and a deer back to back with a bow. I've shot six times. Never sighted. Clearly, it was sighted in. They just didn't yeah. tell me. <laughs> they sighted it in. What? This has got to be luck, right? Oh. You don't. You think this is not? This isn't natural skill. There's no way. Hey. It's pure luck. It's pure luck. It has to be, bro. The heart. Bro, I've missed the heart with an AR. How can I hit it with a bow? I gotta get further out then. I feel like we gotta get dangerous with it. Not that I would take a far shot. I gotta see how far out I can go. Yeah, you gotta test all your pins. I gotta test the pins. So, okay, so 35, 45, 50, 55. That'd be a pretty impressive shot, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna need to go, you think the top of that back hill and maybe just angle this deer a little bit? Yeah. We could walk it up at 45 and then we'll walk it up to 55, you think? Yeah. I'm gonna leave that arrow in there like that so it'll help me see it just a little bit better. I was gonna say like, dude, honestly- Why you freaking Robin Hood going on your first day? Low, low key. I was just aiming for like the, this area. I can't see that yeah. from back there. There's no way. That was pure luck. All right, let's see if we can finesse buddy here. You like that? Work. Let's walk her off. One. That's 45. Do you want to go ahead and walk 55 too? Sure. Since you got sticker. Yeah. Pretty much the, I mean the edge of this. Yeah, that branch right there. Okay. I gotta catch my breath now. I'm, I'm gonna be <laughs> shaky. Yeah, I can't see nothing. I'm just aiming for the block at this point. It's in that shadow there. I think we're gonna shoot a deer with a bow this year. I'm feeling good about it now. I think you. Can I was it. pretty skeptical, honestly, when we got out here. I didn't think I'd hit anything. <sighs> Deep breaths. I hit it. Oh yeah. Maybe a little high right. I really wish we could get it in the sun. Here's what we'll do: is we'll move the coyote. Cause I just can't see in the shade. It's tough to see where where the actual heart is. Oh, dude, do you see that? Double heart, double heart. Double heart, that's the second one on the line. Of the <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to hunt tonight? I feel like I'm in the zone right now. Bro, it's about 50-50. It's about 50% heart, 50% lung, which regardless, that's a kill. Dude, when I first saw it, I literally thought you Robin Hooded it. I heard it hit. What the, look at that. I can barely fit my finger in between the shots. <laughs> that's impressive, dude. Something's going on right now. I don't know what it is, but the Bucks hunting code gods are blessing me with something. This is crazy. All right, we better just roll with it instead of moving the decoy because I feel like it's in a good spot. I, I really cannot see. I'm literally aiming just for this, hoping for the best. I can see this green now, so I'll just aim for the aim for the green. Let's go do 55. See, this is why I'm on elk hunt. It's too much walking. Could you imagine having to do all that walking and then shoot a bow? There's no way. Give a second here. This is what, 55? 55. This is the Jeez. furthest my pins are sent to, buddy. At, four, at 50 pounds. <sighs> <clears throat> high that right. That was high right. That was high right. Let me throw, throw, let me throw, let me throw a couple more in. That was high right. That's all right. I still hit it in the vitals, or you know, the block that yeah. they have, I guess. Maybe got the liver on that one. Oh, hang on. Uh-oh, what do we do here? What happened? It's not on the rest. Just let it back slow. Don't shoot it. Bring your arm back in slow. There wow, you go. That's how you f up your shoulder real good doing that. I didn't even pay any attention. <laughs> oh. Neck? Right, neck shot, yeah. All right, let's go one more. We're already here. This isn't going to be the end of it, though. I got to get it out in the sun where I can actually see where I'm aiming. I'm making excuses. That might have hit that it. That was money. That might have hit it. That might have done did her. I felt good on that release right there. I didn't rush it as much. Oh, yeah, that's a dead deal. She gone. She is gone. It's crazy, like how slow the arrow moves. Like I can, I shoot it and I look and it's like, <laughs> it takes forever. Oh god, yeah. Those first two are rough. That last one hit the lung though. Oh, it didn't. It almost did. So first shot here, that would have been a, a spine shot. Second shot here, third shot through the lung, within an inch of the heart. 
So I'm deadly at 45. Anything after that is questionable, but not bad. You think we should just rotate Coyote Boy and shoot him, or do you wanna move the deer out there? There's a coyote out there. I think we should just do the coyote. Coyote's smaller, a lot smaller target. So I'm, I'm already making it tougher. So let's get the coyote out there. What do you think, 55 yards again? And yeah. See if we can hit Coyote Boy? You yeah. gotta stay tuned. That's a poke, buddy. That's a poke. 55 with Wiley Coyote. Did I hit that? Yeah, you hit it. That was the hardest shot. I Dude, I'm on the coyote, I'm off the coyote. I'm on the coyote, I'm off the coyote. You hit in the circle. No. Yeah. That was 10 times harder than the deer. You got a pretty good breeze going right now, too. I, I felt that. As soon as I pulled back, I felt the wind. I'm like, I ain't even trying to do the math. Let's just send it. Like, <laughs> there's no way. A little to the back, but not bad at all. It's almost in the long area. I mean, it's a dead coyote oh, regardless. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, you're in the kill circle. And you got to think your broadhead's going to pop a hole. Pop up. I mean, that's, it's just a, it's a, it's a gut shot, but it's still a dead coyote. <sighs> I'm like worn out running back and forth and pulling back and shooting and going whatever, but I'd say I'm good. I mean, not good to hunt. I still obviously need lots and lots and lots of practice. And all of this goes out the window when you've got big Jamie looking right down at you, you know, or you're looking down at it. That's when everything changes. Your heart's racing. Like right now, I'm just calm, collected. If I miss, who cares? But you see your target buck. I could imagine your heart's going to be getting it. But all I know is right now, knock on wood, my shoulders feel fine. Huge shout to Elite Archery for helping me. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be doing this. And like I said, they're not paying me or nothing. They're just good people that helped me out, saw that I had a problem. I talked about it on a video. They saw it, found a solution. And so far, I mean, unless my shoulder is on fire tomorrow, which I don't believe so, because when I was shooting this at Shields, the next day I felt great. I think we're good. I think I'm going to turn into an archery hunter. I'm going to be one of them big professional guys guys not beefcake deer hunting more more professional but i still have a lot to learn let me know whatever other tips tricks and you got i think i'm good to what 15 25 35 45 55 i think yeah. we, we've determined that's pretty solid so we got to get set up like i said let me know any tips you got we got some stands set up i got to keep practicing we're gonna take these targets back to the house every morning i'm gonna wake up throw a couple from the deck as long as i'm hitting vitals every morning for what do you think 10 days straight you think I'm ready to go get in the stand? So you go for just a week straight. A week straight? Yeah. Okay, seven days. I'm gonna make a challenge. Seven day challenge. Every morning I'm gonna be sipping my coffee, shooting down at the deer in the back. And if I hit it in the vibe, if I don't miss, if I miss, what happens? You gotta restart the seven day go stretch. Back. You gotta redo that day. Redo the day? Or yeah. what if you get like two day penalty? Ooh. I say if you miss, you get a two day penalty. So you do seven days, but if you miss, then you have to do eight days. Right, so you get a two day penalty if you miss. I'm making stuff up at this point. Either way, I'm gonna practice a lot in the backyard. Hopefully get out here, shoot big old Bertha or just a doe for some meat. Either way, don't matter to me. Now that we've got the bow strap figured out, we're gonna be able to hunt a lot more often this fall. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. We'll catch you next time and peace.